So one of the things that we did actually see happen was that China ended up coming in and approving um, for the unconditional, basically like the market regulation granting for the past or for the deal for the ABK Actabiliz Xbox acquisition. God, that's a mouthful. Um, but yeah, so they, they ended up coming in, they gave it the green light. They didn't have a bunch of specific like requirements or anything. It was just straight up, Hey, it's a go. So that puts us what at like 38 different countries at this point. They're like, yeah, this, we don't see any issue with this whatsoever. Leaves us sitting there wondering like, okay, CMA, FTC, like read the room, <laughs> Read the room. You've got people all around you that are saying, like, listen, this isn't a thing. Like, get over it. Let's get this done with, and let's just move on with life. I don't know about all of you guys, but personally, I will be absolutely thrilled when we can stop talking about this whole situation and start playing the games that are involved in this acquisition one way or another. Like, obviously, there are a lot of things that could still happen from now and then. We don't know one way or another if it's going to go or if it's not, but I just want it to be over with <laughs> so much, so much. But that's that's kind of a small one. We just wanted to touch base on that since that happened a few days ago. The next thing we did want to jump into, as it is tied in with some of this conversation we've been having, is the fact that Xbox ended up debuting PC games are going to be going to NVIDIA GeForce Now members beginning today. So this one's, this one's an interesting one because obviously we had seen that there were a bunch of these deals that they were making, the 10-year deals with all these cloud services and stuff. It was part of their conditions. They're like, hey, we're going to start doing these to show you guys we're not going to make this a walled garden. We're not going to limit these, the access to these things. Well, you know, I guess the question was always like, when is this going to come into play? Uh, and apparently now. Now is when this is going to start happening. So we're going to end up seeing it. So as of now, we end up seeing uh, Gears 5 on May 20, what was, sorry, I think May 25th for that one, be able to enjoy Deathloop, Grounded, Pentiment. And then that's just the beginning of their initial, um, basically their rollout for all these games are going to start coming out. But it's basically them just kind of coming out there and being like, hey, Yes, we've said these things, we've we've made the comments, and now we're walking the walk. We're showing it, and we're backing up what we're saying. Uh, we also, uh, over the last few days, ended up seeing that um, that we're going to start seeing Boosteroid. So Boosteroid, beginning June 1st, is going to see their members uh, being able to stream Deathloop, Gears 5, Grounded Pentiment as well. Uh, way more coming, obviously, in the future. Bethesda, Xbox Game Studio games, they're going to start showing up on this service too. I think this is I think this is a really big thing. I'll be very curious as to how this whole situation kind of goes. I, I guess the thing that I'm going to pose to you guys with this is like we're seeing them come out ahead of this as if they're basically going to try and close over the top on CMA and the FTC decisions and just basically disregard what their opinion is and just go with it. I, I have questions like this is exciting, obviously, because they're, they're already getting into this thing. They're launching these things. Sour, my question is for you, if all this mess ends up failing, if they do not close on this deal, how does that work out? Like you got to figure that's going to be a mess for these different companies, right? Like they, they pull the games off the services immediately, right? Well, my friend, you have questions. I have the answers. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and unfortunately, well, for some, fortunately for others, the deal is going to close. The deal is going to close before the deadline, and Microsoft is going to wait the last few days before they close the deal. And what they're going to do is they're going to close the deal to not pay that extra fee they have to pay. Yeah, the three billion or something. Yeah, and then they're just they're just going to battle it out with the CMA and the FTC if they decide to to go to court. But I'm I'm almost I'm almost certain that's what's going to happen. 
based on 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 uh, like before i was a little bit skeptical of uh, a friend of uh, uh, of the show um she's not here right now but purple haze mm-hmm. she 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 had her own theories which you know it made sense and it still makes sense to a certain degree but the way microsoft is has reacted they it's it's not looking like they're they're like they have changed opinion and even on the activision blizzard side it doesn't look like they have changed opinion because if if, if that was the case why would they hire you know new lawyers why they, they why would they continue to spend more money on something that they might decide to you know rework or etc and based on the st- statement that brad smith has been posting in satya nadella it looks like they're pl- they're planning on closing they're just given a chance to the cma and to also you know the cat to kind of you know figure things out so they can they can close the deal but the deal i think is close and whether whether people like it or not so so humor me because because i do i do agree with you i would say for the most part is like i think uh, i don't know i mean obviously like we talked about last week is like we can't we can't predict how this thing's actually going to go we've seen a lot of surprises along the way but it feels like pretty much no matter what happens with this they are going to just keep moving forward and they're just gonna be like well that sucks that you don't like this, but we're going to move forward. We are going to close this deal. But humor me. Humor me. Because I just, again, like I said, we, we can't say for sure. So if this happened, uh, that it ended up closing, if, if they declined it, right? It got blocked. What happens with these deals? Like these deals don't exist outside of this acquisition, right? So then they'd have to take those games off of those services would be kind of a, a cruddy look. So what would be what would be the exit strategy as Microsoft if it got blocked and they had to take these off of those services? But it, um, when you said when they get blocked by who, CMA? Well, yeah. So if it ends up getting blocked overall, like once once they block it out and say like, no, this doesn't work, we can't put that in or the streaming is is something we won't allow for example like how do you think that ends up working in this scenario oh there, there, there's always a workaround and i think what they're going to do is they're basically they're going to make their own uh company within the uk so they can uh, run you know um separate okay and whatever whatever the cma doesn't want then they basically won't won't have in that in that country but they i mean think about it this is a 70 well almost 70 billion dollars of acquisition because of one country out of all the countries in the world you know why would they stop this and they're gonna make so much money out of this and at the end of the day if the deal goes through well if the deal gets blocked and let's say they leave uk out of this I, I bet you a hundred percent after one or two years when they see the revenue and they see that everyone is happy, but they unfortunately you know their customers are getting screwed because they're not getting these games and they're not getting the benefits of these services, hmm. they're gonna they're gonna come back and they're gonna negotiate. Okay, so you're so you're thinking like no matter what this thing goes through, they'll figure out some sort of solution if they have to if if it's you know, feet planted and they're not going to change their ways right now. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, essentially. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically like when, when, when you, for example, when, when you're with a girl and, and that girl leaves you and you're kind of like, you know, <laughs> you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to show her like, you know, you kind of you hurt and stuff. Go on. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> let's um, let's just I'm, let's just I'm move curious. on. No, 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 no. I'm curious now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy okay. some of this okay. beer. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just enjoy some of this beer let, while let you me try and climb yeah, back yeah. out of that. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't know how this thing got into a girl situation. I want to know. Yeah, go for it. Baby. <laughs> 